Hey everybody, we're going to try 90% is 80, sorry, 90 is 80% of what number? So what we're going to do is turn the sentence into a little equation and they're going to solve the equation, right? Um, but there's other ways of doing this, but we'll do it that way for fun. So, um, we're going to write 90 and is can be turned into an equal sign. So is is the same thing as equals. Now I want you to turn 80% into a, into a decimal. Okay. So remember that 80% is 80 per 100. 80 per cent. Okay. 80 hundredths. So 80 hundredths is 0 0.80 or just 0 0.8. Same thing. 0 0.80, 0 0.8, 0 0.80, 0 0.8. That's the same number. Doesn't matter, right? 8 tenths, 80 hundredths, same thing, right? It's like, do you want 80 pennies or do you want 8 dimes? Same thing, right? Um, so of next. Of means multiply. Multiply by what number, okay? And in place of what number, we can just give a letter, right? So A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, anything you want. So let's just put X, okay? So we have 90 equals 0 0.8 times X. And by the way, the other way to turn the percent into a decimal is to take that decimal point and move it to the left two spots, right? But I do want you guys to be thinking about it. So it's not just a case of memorizing, it's a case of understanding that 80% is 80 hundredths, and that's why it's 0 0.8, right? So we need to solve for x, because we gotta find what number. Now x is being multiplied by 0 0.8, so what do you do to get it on its own? Divide by 0 0.8, right? And if you divide this side by 0 0.8, you must divide this side also by 0 0.8, okay? And there are a number of ways of calculating this. If you have a calculator, you can do it. In this class, we're going to do it without a calculator. So if I was doing 0 0.8 into 90, that's dividing decimals. Remember, with dividing decimals, you need to move this decimal point to the right and also this one to the right to turn this into 8 into 900, okay? And then you can do it by long division. So I guess we'll do it long division. I'm also going to do it another way. So 8 into 900. 8 into 9 goes one time, remainder 1. 8 into 10 goes one time, remainder two. Eight into 20, two times, and two eighths is 16, remainder five. What do you do with the remainder five? Well, we should put a decimal point here and add on some more zeros. Eight into 20 goes two times, is two eighths is 16, and 20 minus 16, sorry, it's remainder four, so anyway, remainder four, two times six, or 2 times 8 is 16, and 20 minus 16 is 4, so the remainder of 4 can go there. 8 into 40, 5 times, right? And this decimal point comes up here. So it's 112.5, and now we just have 8 into 0, 0 times, so we're done, right? 112.5. Another way to do this is 90 over 0 0.8. We could multiply it top and bottom by something that gets rid of the decimal here, okay? So 0.8 times what would give a number that's not a decimal anymore. 0 0.8 times 10, because that would be 8, right? 
And if I multiply the bottom by 10, must multiply the top by 10, and I get 90 times 10, 900. And so now we have 8 into 900, which is what we were calculating here, 8 into 900. See why when you're doing dividing by decimals, you move both decimal points over one spot to the right if you need to? See that? That's the reason why, right? 90 over 0 0.8, same thing as 900 over 8. At this point, I could actually divide top and bottom by 2. 2 into 8 goes 4 times. 2 into 9, uh, 4 times remainder of 1. 2 into 10, 5 times. 2 into 0, 0 times. This gives me 450 over 4. 450 is an even number, so 2 will also will go into top and bottom. 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1, 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So I have 225 over 2. And now this is not an even number. So 2 into 225, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 5 goes twice. Remainder 1, and put my remainder 1 over here, add another 0. 2 into 10 goes 5 times, 112.5. So that would be another way of doing it. But regardless, the missing number should be 112.5. Now does that make sense? Let's put that back into the original question. 90 is 80% of what number? 90 is 80% of 112.5. Does that make sense to you? That sentence? Does it seem reasonable? So 80% of 112.5 should give a number that is less than 112.5, shouldn't it? At least think of it that way. We have The answer should be less than 112.5, right? And it is, right? So, so that does seem reasonable. And um, if you took 112.5 and got 80% of it times it by 0 0.8, you should get 90. I'll do it really quick. 5 eighths, 40, carry 4. 16 and 4 is 20, carry 2. 8 times 1 is 8 and 2 is 10, carry 1. 1 times 8 is, 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And there are 1 two decimal points in the question so it should be two in the answer 90.00 or 90 right so that is correct